Sihi Smart Automatic High Speed Slurry Production System consists Raw Materials Batching System, MOFA Slurry Production System, Post Processing System. Raw Materials Batching System consists of powder batching and liquid batching. Powder raw materials includes main materials and auxiliary material. Main materials are supplied in jumbo bags, transported to the feeding station above the vertical ribbon mixer by electric hoist, and fed to the vertical ribbon mixer without dust leakage during the process. Auxiliary materials are transported by negative pressure with glove box type small bag discharging station open the bag manually the auxiliary materials are transported from the small bag discharging station to the auxiliary materials batching hopper by negative pressure the batching hopper is equipped with high precision weighing module weighing accuracy is up to two per mil materials are weighed by weight loss method and transported to vertical ribbon mixer through screw conveyor. The main materials and auxiliary materials are mixed initially in the vertical ribbon mixer. Liquid raw materials consists of solvents and additives stored in tanks respectively. The materials are measured by flow meter and delivered to tank A. MOFA slurry production system with high performance is specially developed by Sihi Smart for dispersing and homogenizing powders and liquids in the battery production process. The maximum flow rate can be up to 80 cubic meters per hour. The maximum powder feeding capacity can be up to 26 cubic meters per hour. The maximum solid content can be up to 80%. Slurry maximum viscosity could be up to 100,000 millipascal second. Its core equipment is TDS high speed dispersion machine. Its working principle is the specially designed high speed dispersing module generates a strong vacuum during high speed rotation, sucks the powders into the working chamber, quickly disperses them into the flowing liquid. It is workable for high viscosity materials, high dispersion efficiency, and excellent homogenization effect. And by recirculating the materials, the homogenization effect is improved. Slurry production process is divided into two stages. Powder liquid dispersing stage. The solvents and additives are pre-mixed in the tank A first and then start TDS high-speed dispersion machine. The slurry is circulated between the tank A and TDS high-speed dispersion machine. The mixed powders go through feeder and iron remover and then are sucked into the TDS high-speed dispersion machine. The powder and liquid are rapidly dispersed and discharged under the action of the high-speed rotating dispersing module. Along with the addition of the powders, the viscosity of the slurry increases and reaches the maximum after all the powders are fed. High-speed slurry homogenizing state. After all the powders are fed, the slurry still circulates in the system to reduce the slurry viscosity. Single circulation. Slurry in tank A goes through TDS high dispersion machine and then back to tank A. Double circulation. Slurry in tank A goes through high speed homogenization machine and then goes to tank B. After all the slurry in tank A is discharged, then slurry in tank B goes through high speed homogenizing machine and back to tank A. In this way, the slurry circulates back and forth in tank A and tank B until its viscosity and fineness meet the requirements. Equipped with online viscosity monitoring, it can display the viscosity range in real time. Post-processing system. 
After cooling, filtrating, iron removal, defoaming, and other processes, the slurry is ready. The ready slurry is stored in the finished product's tank before entering the next process.